Now you know that is a pretty plate, right? <laughs> Shelly is delusional about how fabulous her food is. I hate the macaroni and cheese. Just looks like crap on a plate. This is pork chop, this mother pork chop. Thank you. Just like someone shot on my plate. It's just dry. That's bland. Nothing seasoned there. How's your pork chop? Yeah, the pork chop is dry. The mac and cheese is way overcooked and very mushy. you think a soul food restaurant would pride itself on cooking mac and cheese, but no, it's just all... Is that heated in the microwave, though? No, I think they just put it in the, in the oven to warm for our lunch service. Thank you. What's wrong? He's saying that the macaroni and cheese is dry and overcooked. Ooh. He asked me, have we warmed it in the microwave? I told him, no, it just came out of the oven. They may have put it in the microwave for a minute. Only for a minute, though. Everything is cooked to perfection. There is nothing on that menu that is not perfect. OK, here we go. I'm taking over now. Fried collard greens, move it to the middle, put an orange chip in the middle. That's it. How can you actually say this is a show for restaurant? Or the collard greens are not tasting like collard greens, since it's just like pepper soil. You know, you can't have food tasting like that. Tell Chef I said to taste those collard greens. They're perfect. Here you go, Chef. Collard greens. Wow. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much indeed. Wow. It's bland, no seasoning. It's just fried and soggy and limp. Uh, James, what do you think? You gotta eat it all together. If you eat it all together, mm -hmm. it should. Well, I did eat it all together. It still stayed bland. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. What is he saying about our stuff now? A little bland. Oh my God. Collard greens. It's great. He's crazy. Where's the chitlins at? It's in the microwave. They're delicious. If we get one out of three, we might be all right. And this is the chitlins and okra. Okay, chitlins. I mean, I know chitlins are the intestine, but should they really stink? Before I do taste them, I'd like to pray to God before I put any of that in my mouth. <laughs> in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. <laughs> we rebuke the spirit of the devil. Yeah. You are prayed over. We guarantee you that you are not about to succumb to those chitlins. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I just had to pray over Chef before he ate the chitlins. What the fuck? There's no prayers going to save me on this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Chitlins. Shitlets. I need the toilet, excuse me. I knew they'd come out quicker than they went in. Chef Ramsey is a mess. Oh, it's chitlins and gross. <laughs> Look at that, throwing up. Throwing up? Holy crap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, they stink. Oh. <laughs> Shall it be taking it lightly and not seriously at all? Is he in the children's bathroom? I'm not sure, but I guess the prayer didn't work. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. With Chef Ramsay beginning to question the food, he bought a rubbery like a golf ball. Sisters Rita and Lisa are looking to Chef Doug for some answers. It's not going so well. Get myself? The meatballs, the meatballs are frozen. Yeah, we what? make them fresh every three days. Oh, yeah, we make them fresh every three days. You freeze them? They're not fresh, okay. they're frozen. I don't know in how many Italian restaurants he's been, but the restaurant that I know, they freeze stuff. What's in that cup? It's coffee, Rita. The veal paradiso. What's inside the veal? Prosciutto, mozzarella. Wow. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. Please, God, make them like that at least. Really bad. Just gnarly, overcooked, bland. <gasps> Gross. What the hell does that mean? It means he didn't like it in a nutshell. How is it? That is definitely not paradise, let me tell you. 
veal is way overcooked, very chewy, salty inside. The sauce is a mess. What is it? Tomato and vodka? Vodka. Right. Disgustingly bad. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's just pray that he says it goes. You're like the only prayer. I just want somebody to kill me at this point. What is he going to be eating next? Oh, yeah. Seafood ravioli. That was the one thing I was hoping he wasn't going to get. Like, the one thing. They have the seafood ravioli. And when were they? Are these uh, fresh or? <laughs> oh, no. Frozen. Frozen. Do you think customers come to the North End to come and eat in a restaurant with frozen raviolis? Definitely not. I won't, myself. Who the fuck serves fresh ravioli? I mean, nobody serves fresh ravioli anywhere. Homemade ravioli in this neighborhood. These people don't even know how to make homemade ravioli. That's the god honest truth. I bet you if you go to the restaurant across the street and ask her, do you know how to make a homemade ravioli? She'll look at you and make you a matzo ball. She doesn't know. Wow. Disgusting. Just layers of gunk. So this is special. Actually, it's a special that we have 12 months a year. So it's a special of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, do I feel special. Thank you. Um, and in two years, has he ever changed it? Oh, shit. So it's a special think, every two yeah, years. Since we have that, we never really change. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse. I want Sarah to strangled. You know, she's having a good time because it's not her business on the line. But I got something for her. <laughs> a special every 700 days. I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to say. Oh, man. This is too much. This is too much. I didn't realize it could be this bad. Thoroughly disgusted with lunch. Fucking hell, that's gross. Chef Ramsay wants to meet the chefs responsible for this supposed authentic Irish cuisine. Come around this side, please. So who's the chef? Mario. How long have you been here, sir? I would say from uh, 1997. Did you taste any of the food that came back? Yes, I did. You did? What was your thoughts? I wish it was OK. You thought it was OK? Obviously, because you're smiling. I'm embarrassed. You're from Ireland. Yes. What I had there today had nothing to do with Ireland. Shepherd's pie? Well, fuck me, that wasn't shepherd's pie. If you went to Dublin and you served shepherd's pie like that, they would shoot you. The food is embarrassing. Bland, cooked dreadfully. It has no flavor. Where's the pot? of scallops. Where'd you keep those? Right there. Show it to me, please. Is that what you use out of mine? So, that's what you cook my scallops from, yeah? Are they frozen? In, uh, in frozen now. They were frozen. They were frozen, but they're yep. not frozen now. Yep. You've got no chance of cooking that. Decent. Oh, my gosh. I was dying. I was mortified. It's not hidden. It wasn't a secret. You just have to go in and open a fridge door. What's that in there? I don't think anybody walked into the refrigerator or the walk-in box or inspected it all. Frozen. Everything's frozen. That's what he's getting. Nothing's fresh. Hold on, hold on. Maureen, come over. Mitch, come over, please. What is that? How old are they? They're not that old. They're two years old. That's two days old? It's a funny two days. How are you going to recook them? Help me. What are we going to do? You refry it. So it's fried twice. I want to throw up. There's not enough liquor in that bar to get them inebriated enough to even attempt to eat that. Is there any control in here, guys? Ugh. What is that? Mozzarella sticks. And can you see that there? Blood. Blood from where? From the meat. Blood from the meat on the mozzarella sticks. Come on, guys. Thank God I didn't have the fucking mozzarella sticks. You look like a blood transfusion going on down there. Mitch, when was the last time you went through the fridge? Uh... Talk to me, please. I have not gone through this fridge, Chef. I left it up to my staff, all right? I knew I had a problem with Mitch as far as that supervision was involved, but I didn't think it was as bad, you know? You've got raw meat here, cooked meat, salami, blood in there. Fuck, come on, please. Don't do this to yourselves, let alone the customers. 